Hey, Faith Church family, Pastor Rob here. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's beautiful weather out today. Get out and get some sunshine if you can. Um, it is also day six of our fast. We're almost to the finish line. We're almost there. I've been hearing some great stories from people and some uh, great victories, some uh, challenges uh, that comes along with fasting. Stories about the presence of the Lord, um, answered prayer, and all those great things. Well, we've almost done it. We're almost there. We're almost to the finish line. And so uh, this will be my last video I make. I hope to see everybody at church in the morning. And we will uh, celebrate the ending of the fast. Um, it has been, again, it has been a great week. Um, I want to share some scripture with you. I've never thought of the scripture in context of fasting, but really, really it does. Uh, it's from, uh, really it does have a lot to say about our fasting or really anything that we do for the Lord. And it's found in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Here's what it says. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight Hey, how about that? Lay aside some weight. <laughs> Lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We have had a race, not a, not a speed race, but a marathon race set before us this week. Let us finish well. Looking unto Jesus, we're doing this fast for Jesus, to draw near and draw close to him the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. I know we've endured some crosses this week. Um, food can be a, a quite a, an ensnarement for many of us. And as we've said no to food and said no to our bellies and our flesh, it has become a type of cross for us. So we've endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. You have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks to you as to sons. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. So the author of Hebrews is encouraging us to keep our eyes on Jesus as our role model. He endured the cross for our sakes. I know that we can endure a little pain, a little discomfort, a little pulling of our flesh, if you will, for his sake, casting off everything that encumbers us. And for many of us, uh, food is an encumbrance, but also we can have strongholds in our life. We can have sin in our life in various forms. Fasting is a great way to tear down strongholds and get rid of habitual sins in our life. Once our mind begins wiring habitual sins as a pattern of our lifestyle, um, it takes a little while before those patterns and habits can be turned into something positive if they're bad habits. Fasting is a great way to do this. So this message is to encourage you. You can do it. You can do it. Tomorrow we will celebrate um, our victory. Um, and if you've fallen off the wagon uh, this week, look, don't let Satan condemn you. Just take the victories that you had and build upon them next time. Remember, it's, this fasting can be about just little baby steps. One step at a time, you fall, you get back up and do it again until you get really good at it. And then you realize, you know, you're not going to die if you miss a few meals. Um, and it gets easier. God's grace is flowing through me and my family. I can sense his presence. And I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Um, Sometimes it happens through the fast. Again, as I mentioned, sometimes it's after the fast. Sometimes it's down the road a little bit. But fasting was the catalyst. So just a couple things. Um, if you've done a water-only fast, it's possible that uh, your your breath is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> just uh, It's okay to take a, 
um, a breath freshener and just kind of suck on it and get the taste out brush your teeth and it was brought to me by uh, some friends this morning um, you can you can comb your tongue actually brush your tongue brush all the gunk off your tongue and that is a great way to freshen your breath and it's also very healthy for you in various other ways um, make sure you shower I know we shouldn't have to tell anybody that but uh, I just want to remind you that our, our skin is a helps in the detoxing of our body and the toxins can lay on top of our skin and begin to smell so I want to encourage everybody to shower especially before church we all cleanliness is next to godliness right and uh, what else um, you may be tempted to just cash it in today hang in there one more day 24 hours it's almost uh, it's almost 11 o'clock here We'll be finishing up around noon tomorrow, maybe a little bit before noon. So just 12 hours, you can do it. All right, so let me pray for you. Dear Lord, we pray that your grace would continue to pour out today, that you would continue to strengthen our bodies by your grace, that in our weakness you would be made strong. We pray that every prayer that we've uttered, every thing that we've offered up to you, Lord, we pray that you would receive it as a sacrifice. And we pray that you, Lord, you would answer our prayers speedily. We tear down every stronghold in the name of Jesus. We tear down every addiction. We tear down every bad habit in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over everybody watching this video today. May you be strengthened and encouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. See you tomorrow.